make a spring filled classic. We're gonna make cashew chicken spring filled style. We've taken a pound of boneless skinless chicken thighs and we've cut them into one inch cubes. If you would like to use a chicken breast, that's fine also. We've got half a cup of flour. In that flour we have cut one fourth a teaspoon of white pepper and one fourth a teaspoon of salt. We have two eggs beaten and we have some panko breadcrumbs. We've also taken our pan here and we've sprayed it with a non-stick cooking spray and we've heated our oven to 400 degrees. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the same as some of our other recipes. We're just going to take our chicken, coat it in our flour, stick it in our egg mixture, and coating well the crumbs. If you need more crumbs, uh, just go ahead and add that. But we're going to go ahead and get this started and we're going to let our uh, oven finish heating. See you in a moment. All right, we're finishing the chicken off. If you enjoy recipes like this, please take a moment to subscribe to our page and like it. Also, I hit the little notification bell up to the side so you get notified whenever we put up new videos. Also, make sure that you stay tuned until the end of the video because we're going to show you a secret ingredient that we actually put on the uh, cashew chicken fries whenever we had it on the truck. We sold out every day we ran this item. Guests really enjoyed it. We're going to stick this in the oven at 400 degrees. We're going to stick it in there for 15 minutes. We want to make sure that the temperature of the chicken reaches 165 degrees. We're going to go ahead and start our sauce. All right, let's get started on our sauce. We're going to start off with four tablespoons of chicken base. Try to use a high quality. We're then going to add five cups of water. I'm going to mix that up and get it blended just a tad bit. We're going to add two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of ground ginger, three fourths teaspoon of granulated onion or onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of sesame seed oil, two tablespoons of oyster sauce. One teaspoon of Maggi seasoning. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil. It should take uh, probably about 10 or 15 minutes. And then we'll put our slurry in. minutes and our chicken looks like it's completely done nice and golden brown we're gonna pull that out of the oven we've also put our rice in the microwave we've cooked it for five minutes and as you can tell our sauce here is beginning to come to a boil in a uh, cup what we've done is we've taken two-thirds cup of water and eight tablespoons of um, cornstarch so we blended that together to make a slurry, and now we're going to take this and mix that in together. Now, because this is hot, this will not take very long to set up to get thick. And actually, if you can look closely as I'm doing that, it's already beginning to thicken up quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. And so, like I said, this will thicken up rapidly. Look at that. already thick. We're going to go ahead now and start assembling our cashew chicken. All right, to assemble, we've got this bowl here. We're going to just combine everything in this bowl. Crispy chicken thighs. Now this is going to be, this is going to be a lot of sauce. If you want, you can cut that recipe in half. So we have a little extra. We're going to pour that on there. It smells delicious. Take that. Grab a big spoon here. Lay those 
chicken right on top. All right, add a few cashews, a few green onions, and our secret ingredient is going to be green onion sugar. Just sprinkle a little bit of that across the top. I like mine spicy, so I'm gonna add a, little bit, a few little red pepper flakes on top. It doesn't change the flavor at all. It all it does is make it just a little bit spicy. If you enjoy recipes like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe, and we hope you enjoy this recipe.